This is a case, a uh, typical situation uh, that I see fairly frequently of a previously failed implant where the industry sheath gets to right here, get a wire into what you presume is the coronary sinus, um, and you just can't manage to uh, get decent support or get into the coronary sinus. So here, uh, on the original implant, you can see the sheath with a bend in it, uh, the balloon, and everything's trying to fall out. Um, almost had something there, but again, no support, and ultimately failed. So this is the second time, this time uh, using the standard Worley CSG uh, with braided core. And because the patient's creatinine was high, we were trying to minimize contrast. We got the... Um, vein selector, the vertebral vein selector, deep into the branch, or deep into the coronary sinus, um, and took a little look to see what was going on. You can see there's a side branch. So from there, um, we put an Amplatz wire into the vein selector, and then slid, slid the braided core and sheath over the combination of the vein selector and, and short taper Amplatz wire and now we have a nice stable uh, situation uh, from which to work. And so again, out of respect uh, for the patient's creatinine, um, rather than doing a balloon venogram, we knew that there was this branch here, so we did a selective uh, venogram, uh, which revealed this large poster lateral branch in addition to this small branch. Now this the branch was quite small and we considered whether we could do venoplasty, um, and that would certainly be an option uh, if this poster lateral branch didn't work out. Um, but you'll notice that the wire just dead ends here, so the snare uh, wasn't an easy option, and uh, venoplasty, although possible, would be a bit of a struggle. So uh, what we're doing here is we have the Amplat support wire in here, and remember there's a branch down here near the os of the coronary sinus, so we simply slide the sheath way back, um, which allows us to then bring the vein selector down uh, and engage uh, the side branch, the poster lateral branch near the os, uh, and then put the lead in. And again, this, the, the Amplatz wire holds everything in place. We put the lead in, we take the stylet out, or st take the wire out, take the stylet out, and make sure we have adequate slack by checking position in the LAO and you want the, the pacing lead to come out, go across the bottom of the right atrium and then up along the lateral wall. And now we have a successful implant. So same person doing the case, this time uh, using a different system. Um, and it's not uncommon to see this sort of struggle uh, when you don't have uh, adequate tools.